Shalom everyone. It's your sister Jay with another episode of Country Living in the City. Today I'm going to show you how to use citric acid in your gardens to help improve um, uptake of chlorophyll and uh, photosynthesis to help your plants thrive during these hot months. So let's get started. Okay guys, to put citrus acid the natural way, you can also buy citric acid as a product, but I usually use a lemon. I cut it in half um, and you use water. Now, citric acid helps with the plant respiration in the Krebs cycle, which is, um, if you know anything about chemistry, the Krebs cycle is a cycle that the uh, plant goes through to for photogenesis and to create the cell walls and everything and also take up nitrogen and the nutrients in the plant, in the roots, um, to be used as energy throughout the plant. So citric acid helps increase energy uptake in your plants and by greening up your plants. So in other words, it makes the photogenesis more effective. Your plant, uh, your plant leaves will become more greener and they're able to take up more nutrients. And that's vital during the summer months and in the hot months. You don't want to apply this a lot. Um, I usually only do it once during the growing season and I only apply it to my, uh, my plants that really need a lot of nitrogen uptake um, and I put uh, in my leafy greens uh, those things that depend on the green colors and everything so I have a two gallon pitcher here and the rule of thumb is to use one half teaspoon to one gallon of water so since this is two gallons I'm using one tablespoon well I've already squared the lemon and put it in there and before you want, before you use it, you always want to touch, test your pH. And I'm testing my pH. And you don't want it to be below 5.5 because usually plants grow between 5.5 and 7.5 on a pH. So you don't want it to be below 5.5. So I already tested it and it's at 5.5. So. I'm not going to add anything. If it does go below 5.5, you want to add maybe a half a teaspoon of baking soda to try to bring the pH up. So after you've done that, let me turn the camera here. This is one of my tomato plants that's still producing. But thank you, Nina. I'm gonna get you some more water, girl. But you literally just water at the base of your plants. You water at the base. And you make sure now you can do a testing first. I tested this out yesterday so I'm using the same formula but you want to saturate so it'll get down to the nitty-gritty and everything okay guys you also can use the solution the same solution that I showed you the pour on the roots you can use that same solution for a foyer spray to as a um, herbicide to kill some of these buggies that like to fly on your plants it's a non-specific herbicide but you also want to make sure that you test your leaves first to make sure that the, the solution isn't too strong 
Well, that's all I have for you today. Take care of yourself and each other, eating foods from the Most High. Until next time, shalom.